background and history of George Stigler. He first knew life. Okay, George Joseph Stigler was a renowned American economist. He was born in 17 January in 1911 in Washington, U.S. His teaching career began at the Iowa State College in 1936. Through his career, he moved to another university to another university. He also began his experimental work. Through his life, he also involved in various legislative activities. Through his career also, he took many positions as a chairman, vice chairman, and so on. He also established his own center. To share with you the contribution of the George Stigler. Okay, actually, George Stigler changed the way economists analyze government regulation. This enormous legacy is uh, essentially embodied into two articles. Okay, uh, which is the first one is uh, in 1962 analysis of electricity rates with Claire Friedland and his 1971 theo theoretical piece. Okay, from Sigler's contribution to the microeconomics theory and industrial organization, we can say that his work of enhancement and uh, adaptation of microeconomics in such a way that it allows its use and analysis in a great range of real phenomena. Okay, amongst his top works, we can find the economic of information in 1961 and the theory of economic regulation in 1971. And uh, Stigler also produced a great amount of work as a historian of the economic thought. His merit does not relate to the amount he covered, but the depth and originality of his analysis and how clarifying they were. We can highlight his first economic history book, Production and Distribution Theories, in 1941 that studies the formative period of neoclassical economics. And also the Stigler's thinking on government regulation was even more influential than his work on industrial organization because of Stigler's research. Economists view regulation much more skeptically than their counterparts of the 1950s did. His uh, first article on the topic co-authored with uh, longtime research assistant Claire Friedland and published in 1962 was uh, the title was uh, that what can regulators regulate? Okay, uh, since uh, the mid 1960s, economists. Um, have used their sometimes some empirical tools to study the effects of regulation. The whole journals have been devoted uh, to the topic. One is the Journal of Law and Economics. Okay, Stigler uh, was not uh, content to examine the effects of regulation. He wanted to understand its causes. Okay, uh, did the government regulate industries, as many has believed, to reduce the harmful effects of monopoly? Stigler did not think so. In a seminal 1971 article, The Theory of Economics Regulation, he presented and gave evidence for his capture theory. Stigler argued that governments do not end up creating monopoly in industry by accident. So, not to be missed in a listing of Stigler's contribution in his research on information. His uh, 1962 article, Information in the Labor Market, was a uh, watershed for further studies on unemployment. Actually, according to Stigler, job seekers needed short period of unemployment in order to uh, search for a higher wage. Okay, actually, George uh, Stigler's contributions are a lot, but... Uh Hello everyone, now I'll tell you about how George Joseph Stichler's theory 
is being applied or used in current economy. First of all, Stichler's journey to the development of economic thought goes beyond the traditional issues of monopoly, regulation, and information. His swing of the pendulum in economic regulation constitutes a great turnabout. He was also the one who started the public choice study, which assumes that government's policy making is driven by self-interest rather than a pure concern for the public's welfare. His view has now become the mainstream. Stigler's vision on economic thought was pathbreaking, serving economic literature extraordinarily well. Stigler's most influential contribution to the economic thought was his work on information theory. Reconciling the theory with the facts, Stigler investigated the importance of information. He explained why prices differ for identical goods. As mentioned by Stichler, there can be price dispersions even in the homogeneous goods market if consumers are not fully informed about prices. For example, price dispersion can be seen in retail gasoline as there might be unexpected price differences across outlets, which has resulted in numerous inquiries into this sector by competition authorities as reported by OECD in 2013. Recent times, Several countries have introduced restrictions on price setting as well as transparency regimes requiring retailers to report to an online platform so that consumers have complete information about prices. From his work on information theory, many other theories are built to explain economic behavior. George Tischler's 1962 article named Information in the Labor Market was a watershed for further studies on unemployment. In that article, he mentioned that job seekers needed short periods of unemployment in order to search for a higher wage. Even in the industries with a going wage, variances in wage rates still exist. Therefore, the unemployed are as much as information seekers as job seekers. His theory is now called the theory of search unemployment. In current economy, his theory is applied in labor markets as in labor markets, search theory is the basis for explaining frictional unemployment as workers change jobs. Thirdly, Stigler's thinking on government regulation was also very influential. He was also the one who started the public choice study which assumes that government's policy making is driven by self-interest rather than a pure concern for the public's welfare. Regulation largely advances in private interests because of the way political institutions create incentives for political leaders to emphasize an industry's interests over the broader public's interests. In current economies, his analysis has offered a template that others have followed in the decades since. Stigler's analysis was game-changing rousing economists and regulatory scholars to the possibility that regulation could play exactly the opposite role from what it was intended. Stigler's studies have opened up a new area of research known as economics of regulation. Some of these findings were behind economists' widespread support for the deregulation of transportation, natural gas, and banking which gained momentum in the Carter administration and continued until halfway through the Reagan administration. Stigler was the single most important academic contributor to this movement. In conclusion, Chicago school economist George Joseph Stigler made a number of important contributions both to microeconomic theory and industrial organization. George Stichler was one of the most eminent economists of his generation. Although his work was often highly technical and quantitative, he was also a gifted writer 
who paid great attention to his prose. George Stichlow will be remembered first and foremost for his pioneering work in industrial organization and in economic revolution. His groundbreaking contribution gave birth to two new areas of research on the economics of information and the economics of regulation. A much admired economist known for his clear, creative and insightful style of writing, Stichler's work